Hi, I'm Jeff Gunn and I'm glad to be back at Acoustic Guitar. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to use hammer-ons and also pull-offs. Now many of you are familiar with the uh, traditional hammer-on pull-off combo uh, where you hear something along the lines of this. Very typical. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to mix up uh, how we actually go about producing and really analyze how we uh, produce a pull-off and a hammer-on. And we're going to look at uh, other ways to hammer on chords as well. For example, this. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll start with single notes. So in example one, I'm simply going to focus on the hammer on. And I'm going to go to the fifth string. Um, and I'm going to actually strike the open string. And I'm going to take the middle finger here. And I'm going to actually push down on the third fret, fifth string, third fret, to give it a C. Uh, sped up, it sounds like this. In example two, we're going to add another note to the equation. So we're actually going to use the C and the E, and we're going to try two strings at once using a hammer-on technique, like so. You can hear how it thickens up the sound. Now, let's add another note, or another note to our ingredient here. Uh, we're going to do a C with the G bass, and we're going to take um, the bottom three strings, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to strike the open, 6th uh, string, 5th string, and 4th string, and then I'm going to hammer on the chord itself. It sounds like this. Okay? Uh, beautiful sounding uh, chord when you're moving and you're thinking, how can I use the bottom three strings? Well, I think that hammer on and pull off really lend itself to um, striking chords on these bottom three strings. In example four, we're actually going to move between chords and we're going to take our C major triad with the G bass and we're going to move um, throughout the uh, C major scale using uh, these uh, triads, these chords, um, and we're going to hammer on the chords. So just a little refresher, I'm going to actually hit the open three bottom strings, the sixth string, the fifth, and the fourth, and then I'm going to make the shape, my desired shape, which in this case is going to be a C, C slash G. So if I was going to play example four, it's going to sound like this using that technique. And you can hear the depth of that sound in the low end. It's very useful when you're playing maybe um, a lead line on the first or second string, but you've got this other low uh, speaking chord, which is just amazing sound. Alternatively, I don't even have to actually hit the bottom three strings. I could just simply make the shape like this, just pushing down. Example five, we're actually going to do the reverse motions that we were doing before. So instead of doing a hammer on, we're actually going to do the pull off. So I strike the string and I simply pull down on it and let go like that. Example five is going to basically do the same thing example one, example two did, uh, moving between a single note to a double note pull off. And it sounds like this. In example six, we're actually taking a similar concept to hammering on chords, but we're actually going to pull off on the chords. So for example, I'm starting with the C uh, triad with the G bass, um, and I'm actually, as you can see, the fingers are all on the strings already. I'm going to strike the strings, and then I'm going to pull down and basically release. So it sounds like this. Okay, I'm actually pushing down. Now you may have noticed, I can do it two different ways. I can actually strum it each time, like so. or I can just um, pull down on it. This does require that you hammer down the first on the first beat, but it sounds like this. And it requires that you bend on the strings in a similar way to strumming it. In example seven, I'm actually gonna move uh, through a progression, again, based on the C major scale, um, but it helps you to familiarize how to move between the, uh, the pull off uh, chords, and it sounds like this. You can hear how interesting that is. I could have also very well just picked each one, like so. But 
gives you a different type of tone from just pulling it off using nothing but the finger hand itself. Example 8 uses an excerpt from a typical folk progression, moving from an A to a D chord. Um, and you'll probably be familiar with this type of progression, Simon Garfunkel tunes, um, things like that. And it sounds like this. And there, I'm actually just hammering on uh, the two notes, the F sharp and the D, um, on the fourth string and the second. Um, and that's a very interesting way to move between chords and has a very distinct sound. And you could thank that to the hammer on. In example nine, we're going to move from a C to a G and we're going to spice it up a little bit by adding the hammer on notes as well, too. Uh, and it goes like this. Now, example 10, we move into a different genre. So this one here is more like if you're playing uh, accompanying a vocalist or you're playing a little bit more funky guitar style, you can actually take an uh, E minor 7 chord and uh, actually we're going to add the notes on and we're going to hammer on as we go. It goes like this. And you can hear sped up, actually, it sounds pretty cool as well. And you can add little types of uh, chaka chakas here and there to give a little more flavor. Example 11, we're going to decorate the E minor 7 chord further on the acoustic um, by adding hammer ons and pull offs in combination um, using lead lines over top of the basic chord. It sounds like this. And you can hear how those pull offs work and decorate it. Very common in players, Jimmy Hanrocks did it all the time, as well as a slew of other players as well. Um, now, going back to the idea of hammer-ons and pull-offs, you, you can take a single chord, and I challenge you to take any chord that you can think of, and add little uh, things to it, like such, maybe a C major 7 chord. Something as simple as that, or something like a, perhaps an A minor. Like that. And you can add all kinds of different sounds to decorate that. Um, as a solo guitarist, you can also use hammer-on chords quite effectively. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer down the C, and then the D, and then the C again in different inversions. And you can hear how it sounds really cool. Um, it goes like this. Well, I hope that you have found these tips useful. And I challenge you to decorate any number of chords and progressions that you can think of using hammer-ons and pull-offs on the acoustic. I'm going to leave you with a little passage from a song that uses um, the hammer-on chords quite effectively. Thank you very much.